Hi, I'm Alemi from Yeo Botanica. Welcome back. So today we've got a lot of juicy stuff to talk about. But the first thing is a lot of you guys have been asking about my trainings. So I'm going to be doing some trainings in the upcoming months, but definitely I have one that's really, really soon. We're going to have a link in the description box below. You click on it, you put in your email address, make sure it's about right. We're going to send you the information as soon as you do that. So everyone who is a subscriber of our channel, um, definitely hit the bell for notifications because we'll have some special uh, promotions for those of you who are subscribers. But also when you click the link below and you leave us our email, your email address, you all will be the first ones that are notified before social media, before our Facebook, before anything for the courses and trainings that I'm going to be having because space is always limited. So today we are going to talk about one of my favorite, favorite spices. It's a spice. It falls under the herb category, but it's really a spice. Star of Anise. Remember, give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications, and let's get spicy with some Star of Anise. So Star of Anise is could say maybe one of my top five spices that I really, really like. It has a wonderful, wonderful licorice scent. Uh, definitely has very, very, very distinctive. Love it, love it, love it. And in some spiritual circles, it's called the moon herb. But star of anise is definitely associated with Jupiter and Mercury is planets, for those of you who are into astrology and planetary movements. Uh, it is uh, associated with air and water element. It's a masculine, has a va masculine vibration versus feminine. Some herbs have more of a feminine vibration, some of masculine, definitely masculine for star of anise. And I think one of the reasons why it may have a masculine um, association is because it has these prickly points on the end, which you'll, you can uh, look at. It normally has eight points going around, no matter whether or not it's small or large. It has this brown color with these pods inside, and sometimes even these seeds are sold separately from the whole star of anise. Um, so star of anise is oftentimes used in many different ways. It is first one of the things that's used to enhance your psychic abilities. You can use it in anointing things spiritually. You can use it in incense, satchels, you can grind it up into powders. I love it when you're making dream satchels. Who's going to watch my video on dream satchels? In dream satchels, I put them in that, right? Fantastic for that. And having prophetic dreams because it really is one of those spices that really kind of brings you into another realm. Even when you smell it, it emanates in the room. It gets in the air. And again, remember, air element and water elements are two of the elements that work with star of anise, right? It's really good to use in all different kinds of spiritual work. I mean, you name it, from money to love, protection, banishing, bringing, pulling, sending, you name it, right? It's fantastic for that. It's also good in small amounts to put in a meditative space. Uh, in Buddhist temples, they oftentimes will have infusions of star vani, so they may put it with water and have it being infused in the air in some way. They may have the plant in the space. They may put it in an incense. Fantastic for uh, uh, using in a spiritual space. It's also put in potions. You can boil it and add it to other things, or you can boil it and use it in some kind of spiritual potion or liquid. One of the things that I have to say that I really also like to use star of anise for, for myself and for many people, is it's really great to also add to powders 
and as I said earlier, to grind it up or to turn it into a powder. But the powder form is something that you don't really see in stores a lot, but it is fantastic. It's usually in powder form mixed with other things, but not standing by itself. Uh, now we know a lot about the spiritual purposes, so many ways that you can use it, forms that it comes in, some of the health benefits of star of anise, because I believe that if you can use something spiritually, you got to be able to use it for your health, right? So one is the intangible and one is the tangible. And so it's really good for indigestion. If you're having a lot of gas or bloating in the abdomen, you can make a tea out of it. It's great for joint uh, fluidity or, you know, people who have a little bit of arthritis, it's really good for joints. It's great for upper respiratory. Again, we talked about things in the air. The air element is one of the elements that's with star of anise, so it's fantastic for uh, the upper respiratory. And one of the other things that it's good for, that, that is my, um, my comment that I always make, which is a fun fact, it's in a lot of flu medicine. Who would have known that? So I hope today you got some ideas on how to use star of anise, one of the finest finest, finest herbs or spices that are out there. And so I hope to see you next time. Give me a thumbs up, hit the bell for notifications, come back and see me soon and give me those wonderful comments below. Remember, I talked about the trainings that are coming up and that link below so you can put your email address and see you next time. Ashe, ashe, ashe. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, definitely like us, give us a thumbs up, share us with others, send us your comments, come visit us in the store and follow us on Instagram and Facebook. See you next time.